Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we've got an interior project. We're going to uh, quickly uh, register this and then we're going to take a look at how the scanner was moved around inside of this uh, inside of this building to capture the data that it captured and why. So quickly uh, we will just run into our pre-processing, grab the top folder and then top right hand corner configure pre-processing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and colorize these scans because it's a small project and it shouldn't have any problem coming together. Um, we're not going to create a point cloud at this time. Uh, and then as we get down here, we're going to perform an automatic registration. Since no sphere targets or uh, checkerboard targets were used, when it uh, asks us the registration method, we're going to stick with top down, top down and cloud to cloud. Again, if we were to have used sphere targets, um, if we were to have used checkerboard targets, we would use the target-based registration method. But again, there were none used, so we're not going to use it. So we're just going to top right-hand corner, start pre-processing. We've got a solid registration. Our tension is going to be just less than six millimeters for this. That will work out just fine. Uh, now. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got with this interior scan. We're going to load all of our scans. And first, we're going to take a look at this in a correspondence view. And we can, we can see our interior building here from the top down. And what we want to do is go ahead and I'm going to make these not visible. We're going to walk ourselves through this uh, this building and take a look at why we're doing what we're doing. Now, if we begin, we've got scan number 33. Let's take a look at this in a quick view. Now we're beginning towards this side of the building in this corner. And in, in this case, what we need to pick up is going to determine, just like everything else, how we're going to rotate ourselves around this, this building. We go into our second scan and we can say we've now moved to the left meaning we are now moving to the left of uh, of the tanks we started over here similar to right by where the uh, equipment is still laying here in the uh, the pelican case and we are going to start moving ourselves around the tanks to the left mostly because it's probably unlikely that there's not enough room to the right for us to really get any decent data uh, from the scanner. Now we're going to load the next scan. As you can see, we're moving forward, still to the left. And as we'll take a look here, it's going to most likely be right in front of where the last scan was. So we're working ourselves around the room so that we can get good looks at these tanks. And as you can see, we're still capturing enough of the ceiling and the walls uh, that we have obviously the entire uh, square building structure. Now moving and taking a look at the next scan. In this case, it looks as though, based on the fact that we have now gone to a second room, that what we captured in scan number 35, moving to the, the front of these tanks, was primarily what we were looking for from the scan. Um, in this case, there was no need to continue down the rest of this, uh, this room and capture those tanks. So we're going to take a look here at... 36 
very important. This is called a threshold scan. You can see we're literally in the door jam. We're able to see in the next room, as well as in the, the room we just finished scanning. So you can also see with these uh, small icons here, our different scan positions, scan one, scan two, and in scan three down here. Like I said, very, very important. If you want one room to connect to the next room, this is the most important scan. It is vital. I don't care if you're using a scanner that uh, is registering the scans as you go, or in this case, this is an X330 scanner. It needs to see where you were and where you're going. If you ever have any questions about this scan and you want to really make sure this is done, you can even scan just before the doorway, in the doorway, and then just on the other side of the doorway. It's better to spend an extra six or seven minutes in the field than to try to piece together a project once you're back into the office when it didn't come together. So lastly, let's just take a quick look at uh, the, the final scan in this, in this group. And obviously then we've moved from the doorway there right inside and we're taking a look at this set of tanks. This is just a small portion of this project, but it's enough, I believe, to give you an idea of why we move through a project like we do. We don't want to go from the 33 position to the 37 position to the 36 and then to the 35 and the 34. We want to chain ourselves through around the most important things and then again, most importantly, when you're using scanning different rooms, this scan in the doorway, our threshold scan, has got to be done in order for a good registration between rooms.